what's up it's kahoob here i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make like um an event to make an npc move onto another map uh my friend here on steam um also known in real life but uh that's besides the point he uh was he got vx ace this works for mv or vx ace and he was asking uh how to like make the character move uh to another map after you talk to him so i sent him some screenshots of what i made after he asked me that and so i decided you know if he wanted to, if he needed help with that i'm assuming a bunch of other people need help with it and i know vx ace is on sale for seven dollars so there might be a lot of people uh with vx ace right now that are like just learning it now so uh this works for mv obviously and also vx ace or i had a uh, vx ace on another steam account and pretty similar similar to each other mv with, uh, all the switches and all this stuff so first things first is uh you know create the map and then have the event that you want to talk to so i did this little kid he's an innkeeper i just you know i didn't really matter to me it might not make much sense but i did it anyways so you want to make sure you name the events also so like for this one i have him just like set right there so then uh you know he'll walk up there once you talk to him so here's what happens it's a trigger action button i have options walking on same as characters so you go up and talk to him here i'll actually show you guys right now what it does so then uh you don't have to see at the end of the video you can see before i'll be in the end if you need anything he goes in i go in he's there what do you need you know i just put in all these options there they don't do anything but just for testing now he's not out here either you know go back in it says all that stuff there you go so now i'll go back to how you do it so you know uh to explain all that stuff that you need make sure the image is what you want for every single event page that you do make sure it's the right image uh so i just had him say um i'll be in the end if you need anything so you know just add like show text and put that in and right below that make a control switch um i didn't mind innkeeper but uh basically what this control switch is for is to make the um make this kid walk into the room so if you're trying to make someone walk into a room then uh you know just name it like walk into room or walk room or something like that uh you always want to make sure you keep your switches named for everything to remember because uh if you don't have names you're not going to remember if you're making a huge game with a bunch of switches so uh you want to make sure you make a control switch this is on now on the second page uh you do check mark the switch make sure it's, uh, it's the switch you just made now uh, I have this movement row. I have weight completion on. Uh, you might as well do that for because uh, you can still walk around while he's going into the building. So uh, you know, set the movement route. The, the first thing you want to do is make sure through is on because you want the priority to be same as characters. But once he starts walking, you want it to be uh, his through on because uh, it, because of how it's set up. You know, he doesn't actually teleport into this other map like. This guy's uh, still there, just invisible right here, and you can walk through him. He's invisible, and you can walk through him, and he's just sitting right there. It's kind of like an illusion, but it all works out in the end. So basically, you want to make sure that through is on, and then so uh, you should be able to know how the these you know turn up. That means he turns, but he'll still be on there. You know, move up, he'll move one, and then two, three. So you should know how the movements work. Then once he gets uh, in front of the door, you want to make sure this is transparent on, uh, so then you can't see him. And I just have wait for completion on. I'm pretty sure you need that on. I'm not 100% sure. Might as well keep it on. Doesn't really matter uh, for what this is for. Uh, for what this is for. Um, and then after you set the movement route, make sure you turn on the control switch. Oh, this is for in the in. So I named it that to be kind of funny, but basically it's kind of confusing though. So basically, what in the end, you know, it, that actually may no, it's actually kind of self-explanatory. That's when the kid is in the end, and you can talk to him. All right, I guess it uh, is harder to understand in actual words than writing, but you can see it. So yeah, like I said, uh, make a control switch in the end on, and then do control self switch A on after that. So then when you go on to the third page, uh, just check mark self switch A trigger parallel apply. So now this control switch that you made right here in the end, you want to go to the house one, go to this kid. This kid's there all the time. He's always been here. The only thing is uh, he only appears once the switch is turned on. 
So basically what that means is after you've talked to the kid, then uh, this switch turns on and then he comes uh, up right here and then you can start talking to him. And surprisingly, you can actually uh, talk to him over the wall. Before you had to do like the action on here, right here to be able to talk to him. But I guess now, walk right here and talk to him from over there. It's two tiles away or whatever. There's one tile in between each other, I guess. So make sure you do the switch in the end and then text, you know, like what do you need or whatever you want. And I didn't show choices like food, water, health or whatever. This in and it's in an end. It's an end. There. And I named it kid in the end. You know, why okay. Make sure you test it. And see he's out there right now. You go in, not there. Walk out, talk to him, I'll be in the end if you need anything. There he is. So that's how you do it. If you need any further help, something went wrong, whatever, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I can help you out or maybe if uh, you're looking to do something a little bit different, I can probably help you out with that. But uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up, it helped, subscribe for future tutorials and uh, I'll see you guys later.